Holy smokes everyone, it looks like the stock market crash could just be about to begin. Over the past year, the stock market has been booming. You've got all these retail investors and all these meme stocks getting pumped to a thousand percent. You got doggy coin that's gone up a hundred times over the past year. You got Pokemon cards selling for $400,000. You've got used and classic cars skyrocketing in value. And also look at this, an NES classic Super Mario Bros sold for $660,000. Times have been good. Everything's booming, people are making money, but this actually shouldn't be happening right now. And what is happening right now is screaming 2000.com bubble. And in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly why the stock market is crashing. Because when I went to the mainstream media at CNBC, Bloomberg or Wall Street Journal, all the article headlines were, why is the stock market crashing? All the Wall Street guys can't explain why it's happening. What, the stock market can actually go down? Impossible. And you've got a lot of new retail investors that have got into stock investing since March and April, and pretty much it's been easy money. The stock market just goes up. They put in 10,000, it doubles over a couple of months. It's easy money. But like I said, this boom and this economy just doesn't seem right. We just had the sharpest and deepest recession since the Great Depression but then it rebounded very quickly. But the economy was shut down for a year. Mass amount of businesses are going out of business. Unemployment skyrocketed. The central banks and governments found out a great way to solve every solution in the universe. Just throw money at it and throw money at it, they did. There's been over $30 trillion pumped into the global economy over the past year. Interest rates were slashed to zero and in some parts in Europe, they went negative. And so what this created was a perfect storm for an asset bubble because that meant cash was trash, your savings and your purchasing power was being diminished, so you had no choice but to go into risky investments like the stock market and the housing market. Money was cheap, and what were people saying? Come on, take advantage of these cheap low interest rates to get into the housing market. Take advantage of these cheap low rates to get into margin. There were some banks offering margin debt at 1.5 or 1.75%. So I was saying, look, when you factor in inflation, it's pretty much free money. And so what this triggered was one of the biggest stock market bubbles in history. And what is happening now is margin debt is at all time highs. But what caused the boom is also gonna be the thing that triggers the downturn. Let's get into exactly why. Okay, so first things first, what happened overnight, if you're not aware of the S&P 500 dropped 0.75%, the NASDAQ dropped 9.2% and it was down around 1% at some point, and the Russell 2000 dropped around 2% at 1.92%. And at the time of recording this video, in my country, the ASX 200 is down 1.5%. But what's even more concerning, this is back-to-back -back days where the stock market has been going down, which hasn't happened for a long time. And what you gotta know, everyone's a gangster and everyone's a genius in a bull market, but all those gangsters and geniuses will get exposed when this bubble bursts. And I'm telling you, it will. Okay, so what are some factors that prove we are in a bubble? Well, first things first, PE ratios have never been higher since guess what? 2000 and 2007, right before those big stock market declines. Also, Warren Buffett indicator is over 200%. And then the media asked him about this and he's kind of like, oh, oh, you know, it's useful sometimes, but right now it's not useful. And why is he saying this? Because Warren Buffett, even though he's a great investor and he's a genius, what he has become is he's become a market mover. And so anything he says negatively about the stock market can send the stock market plummeting. And whenever the stock market starts to decline, you get all these mainstream media analysts like CNBC, Bloomberg, Wall Street Journal, they get Warren Buffett on there to talk up the stock market. He says, look, don't bet against America, don't bet against the stock market, just keep on investing, never stop. And while over a 20, 30 year time frame, that may be good advice, there are a lot of people right now that are putting in money that they can't afford to lose, that they're gonna need over the next year or two years. And so for them, that's terrible advice. Okay. Now we need to address the elephant in the room and the real reason why the stock market is declining now and what is going to lead to the next stock market crash. Like I've been saying, it's margin debt. Margin debt has never been higher. It's over $800 billion. And what happened over the past year? You had many famous YouTube finance channels going out there, buying up stocks on margin during the downturn, not just one, there was many of them doing this. And guess what? Even if they don't tell their viewers directly to do this, a lot of their viewers were doing the same thing. But what they're doing now is deleveraging and they're selling off all their margin because why? 
because we're in a bubble, they know it, but they don't wanna say it directly that we're in a bubble, but their actions are saying otherwise. But it's not just this. What happened with the Archegos incident where a family office, aka hedge fund, what they did is, for example, they said, look, we've got a billion dollars of assets here. And so they went to a bank and they said, look, we'll lend you 75%. So then they said, thank you very much. I'll take that 75% because money was cheap and risk tolerance was at all time highs. But they didn't stop there. That man then went to another bank and borrowed 75% and another bank and another bank until he was leveraged eight to one. And then what did this cause? This cause shivers to go down Wall Street signs because guess what? This isn't the only hedge fund and family office that is doing this. There are many hedge fund and family offices doing the same thing, but they can't alarm the public. And guess what? Wall Street, they're always gonna sell out first and then they'll tell you to sell after they've already sold and then they'll come in and buy the dip. They manipulate you, they do it again and again, but people keep falling for the same mistake. And so what's happening now with Credit Suisse, the company that lost around five to six billion dollars from this one client, that's right, one client, I'm sure there's thousands of clients like this. And when you add that up, it could lead into the hundreds of billions, if not trillions. So now what's happening behind the scenes what the mainstream media doesn't want you to know, what they're not talking about, and what is causing this downturn right now, and what many YouTube finance gurus are doing as well, is there's a great deleveraging happening. The banks are calling up their clients, they're checking the collateral, they're asking for evidence and proof of capital, and if the capital's not there, they're selling off people's margin. And while this margin has caused the boom, it's also gonna be the demise of the market. And this is what I've been saying, but nobody was listening before, but now it's happening. And even Jerome Powell was asked about this in his recent interview with 60 Minutes. And even him, he said this could cause significant risks to the markets if this happened on a bigger scale and it also was very alarming to him and he's investigating the matter. And what you need to know about the stock market and many markets, even the cryptocurrency market, is a lot of the price and a lot of the money in the market isn't real money. It's just derivatives and it's just debt. So these markets aren't being held up by fundamentals, they're being held up by fake money. We've seen a huge increase in call options, put options, longing the market. But what happens once all the money is in? First, people put their own money in. Then they can borrow margin and put margin in. Then they can do options. But eventually, all the money is gonna be in the market and there's nothing that can push the market higher because all the current money and future money is in and the stock market has fully priced in the recovery, but the illness is not over, cases are spiking around the world, and so this is just another risk for the market, and I don't think we're out of the woods yet. And what has been a forgotten art is risk versus reward. You have to look at the market now and think to yourself, can the S&P 500 go up 20% or is it more likely that it's going to correct 20%? Well, for me, there's not financial advice, but I think a correction of 20% is much more likely than the S&P going up 20% over the next year. And another thing you have to know about the markets is they're always forward looking. What's the next thing that's going to lift the markets? Well, there's been huge amounts of stimulus, but that's slowly being eased and taken away. There's been huge amounts of money printing by the central banks. But now that inflation pressures are building, there's calls to reduce the quantitative easing. So they don't have that to look forward to. And like I said, inflation is rising and it's rising rapidly. So that's putting risk in the market that interest rates are gonna rise much quicker than the central banks are saying. And for every 1% increase in interest rates, the stock market and the housing market can correct 10% because then their borrowing power gets reduced. Not to mention all this margin loan where people are borrowing with interest, they may have variable interest rates. And so when those interest rates go up to 3%, it may not make sense to take margin debt on when the stock market is at all time highs. When you factor in the interest and inflation, the stock market over the next year may not outperform that. And what I think is happening right now in the markets is huge amounts of complacency. People are so complacent right now. You see it all in the comment sections, people just doing all these quotes like, oh, be greedy when others are fearful, be fearful when others are greedy. Uh, you make more money in the market, not timing the market. The Federal Reserve will bail me out. The government will bail me out. Papa Jerome Powell will always be there to save me and cuddle me when my stock portfolio drops. Everyone, most of these investors, they're just new investors and they haven't seen a severe downturn and prolonged downturn. This dip we saw in March, 
that was nothing. Yes, it dropped 40%, but it rebounded straight away. So it's easy to have confidence in the markets when it goes straight back up. But what happens when we have a lost decade or even a lost quarter of a century, like what happened in the Great Depression? What you need to know is during the Great Depression, the stock market didn't return to its levels of 1929 for not five years, for not 10 years, 27 years. Again, in 1968, the stock market didn't return to those highs until 1991. 23 years. But we have a group of investors right now that think that if a stock goes down, it'll just rebound the next year or in the next five years. But that's only because central banks have been able to lower interest rates to keep the bubble going. And they've also been able to print money to keep the bubble going. But all this money printing has a law of diminishing returns. In 08, they did a $700 billion bailout. Now what have they done this year? They've done trillions of dollars in bailouts. And during the next crash, how much they're gonna to need to do? Hundreds of trillions? They're just backing themselves into a corner. And all the tools they've used to save the economy over the past 90 years, they won't have during the next market crash. So everyone, I just want to urge you to be cautious right now. Things definitely haven't fully recovered. We're seeing the recovery stocks plummet like airlines. United Airlines fell 8.5% because you know why? because the stock market is now starting to see that the illness isn't over, despite all the jabbing that's going on. What I think is this could be a bull trap and this could be a fake out. And when I'm doing my risk to reward calculation, I'm seeing much more risk right now with the stock market at these price levels than reward. So everyone, I hope this woke you up to the risks that are in the market right now, the real reason why the stock market is falling and the reasons that prove we are in a huge, huge stock market bubble. So you may want to evaluate your investing strategy for 2021, look at the holdings you got and ask yourself, how do I think these are going to perform over the next year with all the risks? For all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. If you haven't already, please tap that like and subscribe button. I'll keep you all up to date with the latest that's happening in the stock market, the housing market and global finance news. Also, if you are interested, I'll have a link in the comment section. We can get two free stocks with Weeble. So if the stock market does crash, at least you got those stocks for free. For my Australian viewers wanting to invest in the US, I'll leave a link in the comment section for stake. That's how I invest in US companies when I do think they're at good values. Thanks again for watching. If you're bored, I'll put up some of my other videos here. I'll see you there.